let's make samosas so we need some black pepper some barbecue spice some garlic powder and we also need some nicely finely chopped carrots make sure they're chopped into small 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 to my tiny tiny little pieces yeah and we also need some onions and some green pepper we also need some bread flour you can use cake flour or pepper's flour but i'll be using, I'll be using bread flour cooking oil and some salt as well so what you're going to do is put three cups of flour into a bowl with a teaspoon of salt and mix it very well i'm using one hand to record so don't mind me when you mix your flour and your salt you add half a cup of cooking oil and mix your um mixtures really really well make sure the oil is combined with the flour nicely nicely make sure even when you're mixing you are rubbing with your hands yeah it's very important to rub them with your hands then you add one cup of water so you add one cup of water and then you mix slowly slowly bit by bit bit by bit you make sure you continue mixing and please be reminded that you need to be mixing with two hands mix with two hands very important to mix with two hands so here i'm mixing with two hands you can see make sure everything is nicely combined even when you're mixing you can be sprinkling a bit of flour and you see after as you are mixing your hands will no longer be sticky they will just be you know not so sticky so we are done with our dough it's as easy as that then here we have some mince what i did i boiled the mince and then extracted the water reason being that some butcher is that sell mince with a lot of fat so you don't want your your yeah some other stuff fat so there's oil oil in the pot just add the reasonable amount maybe like four tablespoons then you fry your carrots and onions together for about seven to ten minutes until the onion is nicely 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 cooked so you can see here after some time the onion is nicely cooked um i'm holding the phone and recording at the same time so it's kind of difficult yeah then we go back to our mince and we make sure we break our mince into tiny tiny pieces because you don't want to pack a whole a huge chunk of mince into your samosa so you can see now they're into small pieces so here i added the mince into the mixture there then i added a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of barbecue spice a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder a teaspoon of black pepper and after some mixing 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 our filling is done i do add other spices my secret ingredients which i cannot tell you unless you pay me some money yeah so yeah but that's the basic recipe you can see our filling is done there you, mind you it's difficult to record and cook at the same time so please 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 don't mind me what's important is knowing how to fold your samosa the filling is not really difficult yeah so we go back to our surface there then we sprinkle some flour then we get a small piece of dough about the size of an egg i guess something like that you can see like a mukusu von shima then you put it uh, on your surface there you sprinkle some flour on top of it then you get your rolling pin then you roll it one direction when you roll it one direction you flip it the other way and roll it the other other direction so what you're doing now is trying to expand um the piece of dough and you need to make sure your dough is not very thick you need to roll it to a point whereby you're almost seeing the surface of where you are rolling from yeah you can see the dough is nicely 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 expanding there it's expanding and expanding ex 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 expanding <laughs> yeah um, if you want the full recipe, detailed recipe, check my YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. I have another video for samosas. So in case maybe you are looking for the recipes and things of that kind, check my YouTube channel. So after that, we'll cut, put a lid on top of our dough and cut a small circle. We are using a lid for a medium-sized pot. So that's about the 7-inch, no, yeah, 7-inch lid if I'm, my measurements are correct. So yeah, so this piece of dough is able to make uh, three samosas. So what happens to that dough, I just forgot to record. You're supposed to heat it on a pan on both sides on medium heat for about 
um, 15 seconds then immediately you hit your the round part you cover it under a moist moist tea towel like i like you've just seen there then you make your glue for the samosas it's just a mixture of water and flour at the same time then you cut your dough into three equal pieces you can see i've heated a lot of patches so even when you hit them that's how they're supposed to look yeah you cut them into three pieces so each piece makes one what one what one samosa and we are done then you get your patch then you get the glue you made in the cup yeah you put it on the left side of your patch so when you do that the purpose of putting the glue is for it to stick behind the samosa not opposite but behind so you do that and then you do that you make something like a cone and when you do that you get your filling get a spoon remember don't add too much just enough enough filling you know enough just enough then you fold it there remember that's not that's where you fold from you're folding it like an envelope mm -hmm. so you fold it like that then you get glue you put on top there then you close it up and you are done that's a samosa for you thank you for watching like and follow